Do you know that some fish have high levels of mercury, which can cause neurological damage? Though eating fish will most likely reduce the risk of heart disease by up to 36%, according to studies, not every fish is the same. So, if you want to make informed choices about the fish you eat, watch this video till the end as we learn about the healthiest kinds of fish to eat and the ones you should avoid. Let's get started with the healthiest fish number one. Herring is a small fish found in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and provides many health benefits without costing a lot. Firstly, it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which can reduce the risk of heart disease, strokes, neurodegenerative diseases, depression, and several others. Besides omega-3s, herring also contains selenium and vitamin E, and both these nutrients act as antioxidants to help protect your cells and boost your immune system. What's more, herring contains vitamin D, which is essential for bone health and mood regulation. And if you are one of those who want to build muscles, Herring may be a good choice as it contains 33 grams of protein in one serving with relatively low calories. Another important thing to consider here is that herring has low mercury levels, which makes it a safe seafood option for almost everyone. Also, it has a high content of vitamin B12, which supports energy levels, red blood cells, and a well-functioning nervous system. Number 2. Sardines Sardines are small, oily fish that are rich in many essential nutrients and omega-3 fatty acids. You can find them in canned or grilled form, and they are also a staple in the cuisines of various countries. Canned sardines are not only easy to consume, but they are also a rich source of calcium, iron, omega-3 fatty acids, and vitamin D. Eating sardines offers many potential health benefits such as reducing the risk of heart disease, supporting healthy fetal development, improving brain health, strengthening bones, and enhancing nerve function. Plus, omega-3 fatty acids in sardines may decrease inflammation, which can reduce your risk of developing many inflammatory conditions, such as type 2 diabetes, nerve damage, arthritis, and many types of cancers. As much as they are healthy to consume, it is important to note that canned sardines can be high in sodium, and therefore may not be suitable for people with high blood pressure. Additionally, sardines are not recommended for those with gout or kidney disease due to their purine content. Number 3. Salmon is yet another healthy fish to consume with numerous health benefits. Firstly, it's rich in omega-3 fatty acids, which help in reducing inflammation, lowering blood pressure, and preventing many chronic diseases. A 3.5-ounce serving provides around 2.3 grams of these healthy fats. Salmon is also rich in protein content offering 22 to 25 grams per serving, promoting healing, bone health, and muscle maintenance. Salmon is also loaded with several B vitamins, such as B12, niacin, B6, riboflavin, pantothenic acid, thiamine, and folic acid, supporting energy production, DNA repair, and reducing inflammation. Salmon is also potassium-rich, which helps to regulate electrolyte levels and supports healthy blood pressure. Selenium, another mineral abundant in salmon, helps improve bone health and can reduce your risk of many types of cancers. Salmon's red color comes from astaxanthin, an antioxidant linked to better heart health, brain health, and skin health. Number 4. Rainbow trout is a colorful fish, a member of the salmon family, offers about 19 grams of protein in a 3-ounce serving, and is rich in omega-3 fatty acids. This fish can be especially healthy for pregnant women, as DHA, which is a special type of omega-3s, is vital for fetal brain and eye development. DHA along with another type of omega-3 called EPA has powerful anti-inflammatory properties and has also been shown to enhance cognitive abilities, including memory, learning, and focus. Plus, both EPA and DHA can help lower LDL or bad cholesterol levels and moderately improve blood pressure, reducing your risk of developing heart attacks and strokes. Other nutrients that rainbow trout generously offers are vitamins B6, B12, vitamin D, and iron, and therefore, you may consider it one of the healthiest fish to eat. As per a recommendation from the American Heart Association, you can eat trout twice a week. Number 5. Mackerel Mackerel is another healthy fish that offers protein, vitamin B2, 
vitamin B3, vitamin B6, vitamin B12, and vitamin D, in addition to minerals like copper, selenium, and iodine. Surprisingly, Atlantic mackerel is known to have the highest amounts of omega-3s, a whopping 5,390 mg per 3.5-ounce serving. So you can imagine how healthy it can be for your heart, brain, eyes, liver, immune system, and overall health. And if you're looking to shed some pounds, you should really consider incorporating mackerel into your diet. The healthy fats and proteins, about 20 grams per serving, can make you feel full for longer, reducing your urge to overeat and munch on unhealthy snacks over and over again. Number 6. Cod Cod is particularly rich in vitamin B12, which is essential for nerve function and blood cell health, preventing anemia and boosting energy. It also contains omega-3 fatty acids, and regular consumption of cod at least once a week has been linked to a 30% lower mortality rate from heart disease. Cod also supports better brain health, preserving gray matter, and potentially lowering the risk of dementia and Alzheimer's disease. Nutritionally, Cod is a lean protein source, making it a friendly choice for muscle building and heart health. It's rich in niacin, phosphorus, selenium, and iodine. Iodine is essential for thyroid function and helps to regulate metabolism and improve cognitive function. When you take adequate iodine in your diet, it helps prevent issues like goiter, birth defects in babies, and hypothyroidism symptoms. In a 4-ounce serving of cod, you get 93 calories, 20 grams of protein, only one gram of fat, well if it's not fried or prepared in vegetable oils, and less than one gram each of carbohydrates and fiber. So you can imagine how healthy and nutritious this fish is, and adding this to your diet can have an overall healthy impact on your lifestyle. Now let's talk about six types of fish that you should avoid. Number one, orange ruffy. The orange ruffy is known for its extended lifespan, but has a slow reproductive rate making it susceptible to overfishing. According to the Environmental Defense Fund, these fish can live up to 149 years. And since they live longer, they are also likely to have very high mercury levels in them. Mercury, as you may know, is a toxin and has many harmful effects, including loss of peripheral vision, defects in nerve function, muscle coordination and movements, liver damage, kidney damage, speech impairment, hearing problems, and several others. Number 2. Farmed Salmon Mostly, farmed salmon live in crowded pens in the water, where they can get sick from parasites. Intensive farming practices can pollute surrounding waters with antibiotics, chemicals, and organic waste. This can harm marine ecosystems and potentially contaminate the fish themselves. Farmed salmon also tends to be higher in fat, meaning more unhealthy fats than healthy fats. So avoid eating farmed salmon and opt for freshwater salmon. Look for green-colored ASC Eco Label or blue-colored MSC Eco Label to ensure that it's coming from reliable sources. Number 3. Wild-caught halibut. This particular fish species has a slow growth and maturation rate, with a lifespan of up to 50 years, making it vulnerable to overfishing and mercury contamination. Atlantic halibut especially feeds on larger fish like cod and haddock, potentially containing higher mercury levels. While Pacific halibut feeds on smaller fish like flounder, pollock, and shrimp. These prey species themselves have relatively low mercury levels, so Pacific halibut is less likely to contain high mercury levels. Number 4. King Mackerel King mackerel is known for its rich omega-3 content, but it may contain low to moderate mercury levels. Improper handling or storage of king mackerel can lead to scombrotoxin poisoning which can potentially increase histamine levels in your body, causing symptoms like headaches, nausea, vomiting, abdominal cramps, dizziness, and allergic reactions. Ensure fresh, properly cooled fish and consume it soon after purchase to avoid this risk. Number 5. Bluefin Tuna Pregnant women, nursing mothers, young children, and people suffering from autoimmune disorders, neurological conditions, and kidney problems should particularly avoid this fish. Bluefin tuna contains moderate to high levels of mercury, based on how old it is and its higher position on the food chain, meaning it feeds on smaller fish. In fact, the FDA recommends consuming no more than 6 ounces of bluefin tuna per month for all individuals. Number 6. Tilapia Eating tilapia, a commonly consumed fish in the US, may not be as healthy as it seems. 
compared to other fish, tilapia, especially the farmed varieties, have low levels of beneficial omega-3 fatty acids and high levels of inflammatory omega-6 fatty acids. This imbalance can contribute to inflammation in the body, potentially contributing to autoimmune disorders and increasing the risk of chronic conditions like heart disease, cancer, and diabetes. So it's best to avoid it and go for healthier kinds of fish in balanced amounts. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel to support our mission to help improve your health. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.